Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brainbean here again, back with another headset video for you. Now today we're taking a look at the Razer Kraken X. It's Razer's newest addition to their Kraken lineup, and this one comes in at just 50 bucks. So we're gonna be taking a look at it to see what you get for that very budget friendly price point. Now Razer also hooked me up with an extra one of these to give away to one of my subscribers, and I'll have all the details on that at the end of the video. But for now, let's take a look at the new Kraken X. Before we get into the actual review and really start diving into the Kraken X, I do want to mention that I have the original Krakens here with me as well. And so I'm going to call out a couple of major differences as they come up, just so you can get an idea of what you get for the $50 price point versus the $80 price point. But getting into the actual Kraken X now, one of the first things that's going to jump out at you is that the microphone, as opposed to the regular Kraken, is just sort of sticking out. It doesn't retract in like the classic Kraken design does. And this is actually the first Razer headset that I've seen in quite a few years that doesn't have that feature. Um, it is a bendable boom microphone. It's a cardioid mic. It's actually the same mic that's on the uh, more expensive Kraken, it just does not have the ability to retract in. Now, the actual headset itself is very, very lightweight. Now, you will notice that it's got a much more plasticky feel to it than the original Kraken does because that's built with that all aluminum chassis construction. But there is still, you know, some accents of metal in this build, which you can actually see here as you, you know, extend it out. There, there is metal there in the frame of the headset, uh, but it is much more lightweight. When you compare it, I'd say the Kraken weighs like almost double uh, what the Kraken X does. So it is a very lightweight headset. And as far as how it actually feels to wear it and as it adheres to your head, you can see it's got a good amount of spring to it. So when you put it on, when I was playing uh, some Apex the other night and I was testing this out, one thing that really surprised me is that when you put the headset on and it clamps onto your head, the ear cups do a really good job of isolating you from your environment. Um, and so, you know, it just really helps keep out background noise and that sort of stuff, it immerses you in the game a little bit more. I really didn't expect to get this level of isolation out of these headphones that I did. And part of that is because it has this nice leatherette wrapped memory foam ear cups that feel really good. They definitely don't feel like they belong on a $50 headset. The padding at the very top uh, headband could be a little bit thicker in my opinion, but because the headset is so lightweight, it really doesn't put very much pressure on the top of your head because there's not a lot of weight pressing down on it. So it's passable and it's comfortable, but compared to the more premium Kraken, the $80 Krakens, they have padding that basically runs the entire length of the headband and it's uh, with the newest edition of the Kraken, it's a thicker padding too. So you do notice the difference there, but like I said, this headset's a much heavier, so you have more weight pressing down on the top of your head versus the lightweight Kraken. I really don't think it's that much of an issue. Aesthetically looking at it, it looks very similar to the rest of the Kraken line. You still have that sort of like grading pattern to the metal on the sides. You still got the Razer logos, even though this is not RGB because this is an analog headset that we'll address more here in just a little bit. It's also got this cool little like brushed metal accent uh, right over here on the sides, which I think looks nice. And of course you've got the embossed Razer logo on the top of the headband, which again is, is very common for the Kraken lineup. And like I mentioned, this is an analog headset. Now it has a not braided cable. This is a rubber cable, but the cable itself actually feels different than your typical rubber sleeved cable. It's a little bit more premium feeling compared to just, you know, the classic rubber sleeved cable that feels soft. This actually feels like it's more rugged um, and it doesn't have like a circular shape. It has sort of like a more uh, squarish kind of shape to it, which is kind of cool. And just like the original Kraken, uh, it does come with the splitter so that you can split that 3.5 millimeter all in one jack to two uh, mic and headphone jacks so that you can split it if you don't have the ability to use the all in one. But again, another nice thing about it is that it does extend um, the 
length of the cable as well. So either way, I actually kind of like using this just because it gives you more length to the headset. But let's talk about the most important part of any headset, which is the audio quality. Now this uses a 40 millimeter driver um, and opposed to the Krakens that use a 50 millimeter driver. But that being said, like I said, when I was playing Apex with this, uh, I noticed that like all Razer headsets, I've always said they're a little bit bass heavy in the mix out of the box. And this one is no exception. However, I was pretty surprised at the level of clarity in the highs and mids that you get with these. At first use, you're gonna definitely notice that sort of like bassy kind of full sound. But then when you have stuff like your teammates using voice chat or gunshots off in the distance or small footsteps or things like that, surprisingly very clear. I actually really enjoyed using these. I typically use Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs, which are a much more expensive pair of headphones with my audio interface. And I plugged these in there with that and was very pleasantly surprised at how well these sounded. But that's not the only thing about the headset that we need to check out. So let's go ahead and cut over to a quick mic test so you guys can hear how this microphone sounds. So now I'm talking to you guys directly through the microphone on the headset. Now this is a cardioid unidirectional microphone and it's actually got the same specs as the microphone on the Razer Krakens. The only difference like I mentioned is that it does not retract back into the headset. Um, but with that being said, as you guys can hear, I mean, I think it just in terms of using it for gaming, the for general communication use, it's more than enough. It's got nice, crisp, clear definition to it. Maybe not as much clarity as you would want if you were going to be broadcasting like a high quality stream or something like that. But for overall gaming, I think it's more than enough, especially considering the price point. And you could probably get away with streaming as well if you're just trying to do it on a budget. But for gaming, absolutely great microphone for 50 bucks. And lastly, even though this is a more budget friendly headset and it does not have inline controls in the actual cable, we do still have some dedicated controls on the headset. They give you a dedicated mute button and you also get a volume scroll wheel. Now, I personally like having these on the actual ear cups of the headset anyways, instead of having it on the inline controls on the cable. I just think it's a little bit easier to manage uh, and you don't have to fumble wondering where the cable is. You can just reach back there and dial back the volume or the mute, um, which is nice. I would have liked to have had a light or something to indicate on the actual um, the microphone to know when you're muted just so that you don't have one of those instances where you're talking to yourself for an hour and then you unmute and your friends are like, oh, where have you been? Because that happens all the time. So overall, to wrap it up, I mean, I really wasn't expecting a whole lot out of the Kraken X's, to be honest with you guys. I mean, I knew it was going to be a budget-friendly headset, and so I kind of expected a budget-type peripheral experience. Um, and, you know, there are a couple of things that I don't really love about it. The main one just being that the microphone just sticks out and you can't retract it and there's no magnet or anything to, like, stick it to the headset. But other than that, that's really the only gripe that I have with it. I mean, you guys heard the microphone and you can let me know what you think about that down in the comments. But the overall comfort of the headset was surprisingly really good. And in my testing, you know, I could have probably just worn it for an hour or two, got what I needed and switched back to my regular, comfortable, expensive headphones. But I never once found myself wanting to do that and actually wore them for many, many hours while we were playing and gaming all night and never felt like, okay, let's go ahead and switch back to my good ones. Uh, but also just the overall audio quality in general was very surprising to me. The amount of isolation the ear cups provide plus the mixture of the nice rich bassy tones with the surprisingly good clarity of the highs and mids really made it something that I was not expecting to get that kind of experience genuinely out of a $50 product. So with that, I can definitely recommend these to you guys. Now, if you're wondering if you should spend the extra money and go with the Krakens, if you have a little bit extra cash to spend, I would still recommend going with the Krakens just because the metal construction is gonna give you a little bit more durable feel. And I also like the ability to retract the microphone. Uh, gives it some versatility, especially on the analog versions. Uh, if you wanna use it as headphones while you're out and about or something like that, just makes it a little bit easier than having the unattached one just sticking out. But all that being said, for $50, the Kraken X is a step in the right direction for Razer, which typically just kind of in their nature have products that cost a little bit more uh, than you know your average products do. And so to see them introduce something that's not only a budget friendly option, but also still performs very well, 
is uh, you know a, something that's really cool to see. And I'm excited to see if they take the concept of the Kraken X to deliver something that's very affordable and to start rolling that out into other lines of their products as well. I mean, I was pretty impressed with the Sinosa when that dropped giving full RGB capability uh, for the price point as well. So it's definitely cool to see them introduce some more budget friendly options. But anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Like I said, I am going to be giving a Kraken X away to one of my subscribers. All you guys got to do to be eligible for that is one, like this video to show your support. I would really appreciate it. Two, just leave me a comment down below what you think about the Kraken X and Razer starting to introduce more budget friendly options. And lastly, make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I've got a lot more videos like this and a lot more giveaways coming your way. I love giving back to you guys and just about every chance I get to get a product to review, I always ask for a second one because I just, you know, I wanna do everything I can to give back to you guys because you support me. So why not do something to help you guys out too? But anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.